clinical features are very important so let's summarize them and these patients usually present with vaginal bleeding that is the most common symptom seen in almost 80 to 90 percent of the cases and sometimes this vaginal bleeding is associated with expulsion of grape-like vesicles also then there may be varying degrees of pain lower abdomen and this can be because of either overstretching of the uterus or concealed hemorrhage or uterine contractions then these patients they usually have excessive nausea and vomiting and this is because the HCG levels are very high in cases of molar pregnancy. Then there are features of thyrotoxicosis and this is because the alpha unit of HCG is similar to the alpha unit of TSH and thus producing the features of thyrotoxicosis. So the patient can present with tremors or trachycardia. Then in very few cases, that is almost 2% of the cases, the patient can present with breathlessness and this is because of the pulmonary embolization of the trophoblastic cells. Now these were the symptoms, that is the complaint of the patient. Now let us see when you examine the patient, what are the things that you find and on general examination, the patient can have pallor. There can be features of preeclampsia, we have already told, it's because there is failure of the trophoblastic invasion of the maternal spiral arteries, thus they are not converted into low resistance vessels and PIH develops in these patients and that too before 20 weeks of gestation. So the patient can present with hypertension, edema, proteinuria, then on per abdominal examination, the size of the uterus, it will be more than the period of amenorrhea in most of the cases and sometimes it can be corresponding also. The feel of the uterus in these cases, it will be doughy, firm and elastic. Because in contrast to the normal pregnancy in which amniotic sac is present, this amniotic sac it is absent in cases of molar pregnancy, so the feel of the uterus will be doughy, firm and elastic. Then if you try to feel for the fetal parts, they are not felt and there will be no fetal heart sound. Then if you do a per vaginal examination in these patients, you will be able to feel bilateral adnexal masses and these are because of the theca lutein cyst. And sometimes the patient can expel vesicles in the vaginal discharge. So you can even find that. 